Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith and this is Rolling Digital where we're checking out Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace and I'm hoping you'll join me as we go through this game. Now I did start up quite quickly to make sure the settings were all in place, but I haven't played anything. So I don't understand what's going on once we actually get into the gameplay. So without further ado, let's do it. Let's start with a very, very new game. First thing it's going to ask you is who you want to be. And you've got a selection of a number of different investigators from the Arkham Horror universe, especially if you're familiar with uh, uh, FFG's license of the game. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of investigators that you're very familiar with. Harvey Walters right here in Move front of us. That's my I'm ready um, to they also have That's voice acting around each that, of them, boys? which is pretty cool. It's my turn. It's my I'm time probably going to go with spotlight. William York, I think, the Gravedigger, because he's got a mental resistance 60%, he's good at physical, he's combat all the way around, he's really solid at, he's just not good at really anything else. But I think we'll stick with William this time, but there's I a number the of great characters that are strong in certain I'm categories prepared. versus others. It's my time in the spot. So let's do this. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wilhelmina Tillingest, professor of astronomy at Miskatonic University. All my life I have dedicated myself to the study of celestial objects. Most recently I visited Louisiana to observe the passage of a comet I had observed for many years. I hoped the trip would provide me with the evidence required to conclude my decades-long research. Yesterday, you received my telegram requesting that you meet me at my house, just outside Arkham. And so, you've decided to join me in my mansion. The esteemable professor suggested a desire to organize a theatrical extravaganza. At last, a patroness who recognizes my talent. All right, so let's begin this adventure. Welcome to my mansion, my friend. I'd better ring the bell. All right, so just so you guys understand, I am playing in widescreen mode here, so I have some sides of the uh, shot that are going to be, it looks like, not taken advantage of just yet. It does look like inside of the um, game itself, options-wise at least, that there are definitely um, the availability to change up your your resolution and things like this, but the, uh, the unfortunate thing is it doesn't look like it supports widescreen mode at this point, so we'll just continue onwards. All right, so investigative actions. A magnifying glass icon is displayed over objects you can investigate. Good to know. Uh, as you can see right here, we can just kind of hover over top of it, so we can check it out. A car. Here stands the car in which you arrive. If we're leaving, you should meet the professor. All right. Let's meet the professor. What is over here? And of course, you can kind of like use your right mouse button to spin your character around, take a look at things. Looks like we can check out this right here. An outdoor ornament. Uh, this ornament seems to be used as a roundabout for vehicles. Yes, that makes perfect sense. I don't think we're going to find anything out here, but it's worth... Oh, there we go. So if you hit shift, you're going to go into your objectives, telling you to enter the mansion, ring the bell get your story here in terms of like how things have progressed so far investigators involved and your enemies now if i go down here i doubt there's going to be anything exciting i think it's just going to come to the end of the lot hmm the one thing i'm wondering is is there any way to run let's take a look at the controls really quick here I don't see running. Oh, accelerate. Maybe it's the space bar. Is that it? Yep. You kind of get into a, a speed walk, which I guess is better than nothing. So that definitely gets you going pretty quick. So let's do that. The gate is shut. I'm just going to reread that. Gate is shut. You came in from the other side. The countryside here would be lovely for a long walk when the weather is fine. Not like today. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. 
Let's check. Let's let's head inside the house. That's gonna get me every time. Sorry guys, I will be hitting that button. It's uh that uh this notebook area here is the shift key, and I'm used to that being the run key, so that's gonna throw me right off. I might have to re uh reassign that at some point if that continues to happen. Looks like there's a bunch of things to check out over here. Oh my gosh, too many things. These just all gates that lead to places I can't get to. I am going to go ahead and make a wild guess that the more I play this game, the more those things are going to open up. Let me see. The bait. Oh, look at that cellar. Okay. You have no reason to go in here. Actually, I have all the reason in the world to want to do that. Did it again. Uh, let's head over here. You can see beautiful flowers in the greenhouse. Must be passionate gardener. Okay. All right, so we've learned a few things, but nothing super useful at the moment. We got a car here that, another car. Yep. Engine appears to be cold. I thought I saw something show up over here. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Let's head into the mansion. I've seen enough of the grounds at this point. Oh, answer me. Wait, uh, Hamlet's talking to a ghost in that one. Uh, bad choice. <laughs> oh, how rude of me to make you wait like this. I wonder whether something's wrong. He's acting weird There's already. A light coming from that second floor window. Well, she must be home. Let the doors be shut upon him, that he may play the fool nowhere but in his own house. Or I could just let myself in. <laughs> yep. Time to just go in. So each scenario has a set of specific objectives to complete to progress to the next scenario. We got an uh, objective updated, clue updated. These objectives are displayed in your notebook and are updated as you complete them. Press L to access your notebook or click on the notebook icon on the bottom left. Are you sure it's not shift? Because that's what I've been hitting all, all game. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, okay. So now that I know that L actually opens that up, why in the heck would I have shift? I'm going to remap that because it's going to drive me insane. Unless there's no way I can remap it, because if, if that's the case, then I don't think I can. Oh, maybe I can't. Eesh. Okay, well. Mm, nope, does not look like I can. So that's kind of unfortunate, but I can live with that. I can make that work still. Uh, as you've tested uh, before, the front door is locked. It seems to be locked from the inside. Okay, yeah, so we got to find another way in. And we got to get up to that. Oh, look at these. We got the boxes. Maybe we can just climb up on the boxes. I think that's probably what's going on here. Box beneath the first floor window seems to invite you to take the that way inside, but it looks to be t shut tight. Okay. Will I still no attempt? No problem to reach the window, but it's shut tight. I'd need to smash the glass to get inside. Hey, gotta do what you gotta I do. I hope you aren't thinking what I fear you're thinking. What I need is something heavy to smash this window. All right, let's uh, let's break something. Wheelbarrow. Oh, okay, so some in interactions with objects may ask you to choose the best action of several possible actions. Those are called complex. Uh, or it could be called life, depending. Uh, a wheelbarrow stands abandoned on the lawn. Perhaps you'll find something inside to help you break the window. I think we should probably take a look through versus a quick look through. I hope I don't hurt myself doing this. Yeah, interesting. Inside the wheelbarrow, you find a heavy pair of bolt cutters. Uh, just the thing for smashing a window. <laughs> yeah, that works for sure, among other things. <clears throat> I was thinking like a rock. So, I mean, that's pretty good. How dare you smash my window? Yeah, well. I hope you intend to have it replaced. Not really. What light through yonder window breaks? It is my elbow. Ouch. Now, where is the professor? Now, we know that's not true because you just literally used um, the wire cutters to do that. So, you, sir, are a liar. <laughs> Um, hmm, is that a, yeah, I guess it's just a door. Interesting. The environments definitely nail that uh, 1920s, 1930s look. Uh, a comet painting, a large painting of a comet uh, hurtling through the night sky. It seems the professor's interest in astronomy colored her taste in art as well. Yep. Yep, yep, that's true. 
Can we play the piano? Is he actually good enough to play the piano? Uh, judging from the dust on the instrument, you doubt it sees much use. Yeah, that's probably true. Uh, creepy paintings on the wall. Creepy house in general. Music playing randomly. Is there any way to shut the music? Not that I would want to shut it off. Oh, there is. A, is it coming from this thing up here? It'd have to be. Yeah. Can't interact with that. So we only have one option, and that's to go deeper into Crazy House. A broken vase. The professor must have heard it fall. She wouldn't have just left it here. Okay. I certainly would not. I take pride in a clean and tidy abode, especially when expecting visitors. Through your window? <laughs> I'd better find her. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Objective updated. I'm assuming I want to investigate this. Tip? No. Okay. So let's let's figure out what this is all about. So co another complex interaction. Uh, if your investigators have the knowledge required, they will offer advice on the best course of action. If this is not the case, they will tell you nothing. That makes sense. Um, no advice. Okay. So this is a logical step, and based on his character profile, he just maybe doesn't have. He's just not logical at all, which kind of makes sense as to why he complained about his elbow when he used uh, wire cutters to get through broken or get through the window. That all, it all lines up now. Uh, shards of some fragile object now shattered lie on the ground. Perhaps it is a clue. Uh, manipulate. Does that mean like? fondle the glass in your hand because if that's the case i feel like that's a bad idea um put together i mean if i can actually build this back together that'd be pretty impressive so let's try that probably a bad idea a closer inspection of the fractured object reveals it was a, a vase uh or a vase depending on how you want to say that based on its position you think it fell from the small table nearby yep since the fragments are free of dust you deduce it broke recently hmm I'm guessing a cat. That's kind of what I'm going to go for. Okay, maybe not. That sounds a lot worse than a cat. That scream came from upstairs. That sounds like my voice. <laughs> I must need help. Okay, Professor, so... was that? Okay. Of course it was. No answer. Oh, there must no. be someone else in the house. You have wire cutters, you fool. I'm losing sanity because I'm hearing bad things. Certain events will force a sanity check. Each of Eskier's mental resistance score de determines their chance of a success to resist it. When sanity reaches zero, the investigator in question suffers from a trauma, which gives them a penalty. I don't like that. So I'm down one right now. That's not good. If I go back to my notebook here. Oh, actually, if I hit tab, this opens up my investigators that I currently have with me and what I'm kind of sitting at for combat and everything else. Mythos is over here. I don't want to see anything around mythos. Anytime I see the word mythos, I am instantly like, nope, no, thank you. Um, let's look through. I want to try to find something good. Okay, here we go. So we found a knife. Can I just bring this over to my inventory? How does this work? So you found a, a weapon while searching. Select the weapon by pressing return. Okay. Uh, then move your cursor with the internet to the empty slot. And... Uh-huh. I'm going to probably mess this up trying to figure this out. Okay, so I selected the weapon. Move your cursor with A, D, S, W to the empty slot and press it again. All right. Oh, I see. You kind of select it and then you use your movement keys to bring it over to your inventory. Okay, that's kind of strange, but we'll go with it. And then you hit enter. Um, close the inventory by clicking blah, blah, blah. We already know all this. Okay, nice. Is this a dagger I see before me? I should hold on to that. Mm -hmm. What yep. on earth are you doing with my letter opener? Oh, give me a break! You're just you're you're literally complaining that you're being uh you know potentially murdered in the room upstairs. So the ghost here is not being uh, as helpful or whatever this thing is or whatever this voice is I'm hearing. Let's go. Ugh, there's too many options. I'm actually not sure which way I should go. There's two doors, one to the right, one to the through the middle. Let's check out this. So a shoe rack, shoe rack containing what you assume are the professor's shoes. Chances are she hasn't left the house. Okay, yeah, we already know that. I'm just kind of, you know, checking things out before I go upstairs, knowing full well that I need to go upstairs. I'm going to start using my accelerate here so I can move a little quicker. Let's head upstairs, go this way. All right, so we made it upstairs. I don't know which 
room the noise is coming from, but let's check this one. The scream must have come from the other side of this door. Oh, geez. I picked the right door. That's my office door. All right. Well, let's find out. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Good to know. So we got to find... Uh, got to find something to unlock that. Can I just use my wire cutters to just uh, beat the door down eventually? Break off the doorknob? Look at all the doors in this place. It's huge. It's going to take forever. Um... Gotta look at myself in the mirror. Alright. Can I interact with this over here? No advice. Uh, should I force the lock or force open? I'm gonna force open because he's more of a... He's not really like the... You know, I'm gonna go with force open. I feel like that's the right call. Oh, the, t the mythos is moving. Interesting. Okay, so as I make actions throughout the world, the mythos clock is kind of ticking. Uh, you may draw the attention of the great old ones. It's called Mythos. The Mythos clock fills up each time an unsuitable action is chosen during a complex interaction. Oh, so I picked the wrong thing there, I guess. Um, at the end of a full round of combat, though. Well, this wasn't combat. Maybe this is just an example. When the Mythos clock is full, the great old ones will intervene to slow you down, be on your guard. Okay, so we got, we got things coming. So I picked the wrong one, I guess, for this situation, but it still moved the clock. If I picked the right one... Interesting. Okay. So we will... I got bandages. Do I... I don't need to use bandages. So let's just move it over here. I'll slot it over here like so. Okay. Now let's head out. Okay, so that is that room covered. This is one of those games where I'm not sure if I really want to see every room. Whoa, that was a creepy transition. Uh, children's toys laid around the room so carefully that you doubt a child or even touch them or ever touch them. <laughs> That's definitely creepy. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I don't know if I like this. Nope. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. All right. Potentially a new ally, maybe? Maybe who not. Go with, ahem, uh, who goes there? I'll ask the questions. Roland Banks. That's exactly who I thought that was. I'm on the job. Who are you? And what's your reason for being here? What would a federal agent want with me? William Yorick, Master Thespian at your service. The good professor requested my presence to discuss a performance of some sort. Judging by the scream we heard, it appears to have begun without me. Mm hmm Seems like I'm on the right track. Something... Is Professor telling us to suspect in some crime? She's only a person of interest. The Bureau has evidence that others are trying to involve her in some shady business. I came to find out what she knows, if anything. Then I heard the scream, too. I wasn't prepared for so many. I'll help you find that. That's yeah, quite interesting that everybody's just finding their way here today. All at the same time. Uh, open character sheet. Let's see. So we now have Roland Banks as part of our investigators, as my guess, and I don't know if I can switch between these individuals or not. You can switch pages. So. Do I, like, click on a person to switch who I'm controlling? Like, is that a thing? Okay. So if I click... Inventory... Yeah, like, I'm still control... Okay, so maybe he's just part of my party. Yeah, he's just going to follow me around. Okay. I didn't know if I had to switch over to him or if I had control to switch back and forth. He's just kind of part of the investigation at this point, whether I like it or not. All right. Not much going on here besides this chest over here. Physical. What would happen if I shook this? Yeah, then if that's the case, then I'm shaking it. You open the chest to find it is full of books. Lying atop them is a single sheet of paper on which is written a recipe for apple fritters. That's helpful. Peel, core, and slice the... I'm not reading that. Come on. Give me a break now. <laughs> That's not going to help the investigation. It's just going to make me more hungry, which is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just saw a book. Oops. Is 
or something. Ah, that would have been a miss. A pack of smokes, just a thing to calm the nerves. Yep, let's take it. Uh, it's nice to see that Roland has a gun. That's always pleasant. To know we have that on our side and some bandages too. What's this then? Good question. Yeah, so I got some smokes and I think... Where's my inventory here? It's uh, it's gonna take me a bit to get used to the buttons. I for inventory, so we got bandages for both of them. That's good. We have cigarettes. Uh, this will give us sanity back. Oh, okay, so I can actually help my sanity, but it does a damage to me if I do it. Good to know. I'll hold off on that for now. Um, I'm gonna continue down this way. So it makes the only, the only thing that makes sense. This door uh, doesn't lead to where the professor is. Okay. Good to know. That's one last door I have to check. And this one is just another door. And this is a painting of cats. See, I told you cats were probably a part of this. Uh, old ladies tend to like cats, but you do admit it uh, emits a sense of calm. Okay. So, all right. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with all of this now. I don't know if the two of us together can force the door open, but I might have to explore downstairs some more if I can't get this thing open. Yeah, I can't. So if that's the case, we might have to go down here and find what we need. Oh, right. In order to go downstairs, you have to click the downstairs action. Harvey Walters staring at me. That's creepy. Um, let's go through this door then. I guess that makes sense. Nope, I cannot go through that door. Let's go through this door. Yep. Okay, so that's a door I can't open either. Am I missing something here? Hope not. A shoe rack. Nobody cares about the shoe rack. Can I go through the front door? Yep. Um that is strange. Okay, so what's my... Let me see my logbook here. So find the key. Okay, so I'm looking for a literal key. So it's going to be hiding somewhere. Could it be... Could it be in here and I missed it somehow? Is it a trunk? Uh, I'm just going to recheck these things really quick to see if there's something about interacting with them that I missed. I don't think that there is. I don't have the freedom to go back out the window. <laughs> so once once you're in, you're in. You're you're in for good. Uh, it's gotta be upstairs then. So I think it makes sense. But for some reason, everything I've checked. It's really strange that these doors don't open. Just kind of like, hey, don't bother to check these right now. Um. And I didn't feel like I missed anything over here. But these are the rooms, like a key could be anywhere in here. It could also be really embarrassing if I miss it. <laughs> you know you're in trouble with a game when you can't get past the first locked door. Oh my gosh, what is happening? That transition, that, that's something that needs to be fixed because that's just throwing me right off. That reversing of the camera, it does not... Uh, I think it's just because of the light coming through the window. Oh, a crib. There is going to be something in here for sure. I could put that somewhere else. Let's move things around then. <laughs> ah, look at that. We missed it. There's a I was key sitting in the room mobile. the whole time. My files say Dillingus has no children. If that's true... Why would she need a nursery? The professor always wished for children, even long after she grew too old to have them. Oh, I can't say it isn't true. But I wish people were less prone to idle gossip. All right, so we got we got what we need. Now we can uh, oops, now we can do our quicker walk down the hall here and find out what's going on in this room. I doubt this is going to be good. Oh, great. So enemy encounters are coming. Let's do this. What? What oh. in the heck is... You An got a intruder. cultist? How many people can I expect to break into my house today? Who are you? Listen, pal. You've got some explaining to do. Come, then. 
I have just the explanation you deserve. Okay. All right. Uh, Roland, can you get your gun ready? <laughs> All right. Turn-based combat is uh, every character acts one after the other without time constraints. Uh, the order of each attacker is based on their initiative roll. The start of combat is displayed at the top of the screen on the initiative bar. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, each character has five action points to spend each turn. Each action has a specific action point cost. Once val validated, an action cannot be undone, except for movement. Attack action point cost. Uh, there are three types of weapons. Of course, those three right there. Each of us has a different aptitude with the various weapon types. This aptitude will affect the action point cost of the attack. Okay, gotcha. So right now, I've got William York. Uh, it's going to take me a second here to just get my bearings on this, but you got punch here, cost two actions. It even highlights how many actions it needs, which is great. Uh, and you can choose between the two, so I can go, hey, knife, instead of a punch, so that's a plus. Movement, of course, to be able to get closer if I need to. I don't know on the movement side of things if I need to be any closer to doing a melee attack at this point. You can always try to spend two action points to heal or to, you know, have a smoke in the middle of a fight. That sounds pretty normal. Uh, you can trade with each other and then overwatch. I have no idea what overwatch is. Maybe it's some way of preventing, uh, you know, pop-up surprises. So let's do the knife. I feel like that's a good call. And then let's click on, uh, the fun part is, is me trying to figure out how I actually, oh, okay, so I do have to move. Uh, no, I don't want to confirm my position. If I want to move, oh, here we go. Oh, it's telling me how many action points is going to be based on my movement. Oh, interesting. There we go. So you can see it lights up when I'm in the space enough to get them. So it's, it burnt an action point to do that. Now I can do the knife and I can attack this enemy. Okay, this is making sense now. Um, is that it? Oh, I can still do another knife attack. Yeah, let's keep hitting them. There we go. All we needed was a knife. Okay, I got the gist of this now, I think. I just was trying to What's figure out the on? movement stuff. We better right. have a look inside. Yeah, I think we should. There's like smoke residue randomness coming out the bottom of the door. That's a pretty big reload your weapon. Yeah, we don't have to do that because we didn't even use the gun. Oh my. Yeah, we definitely just walked into like a full on cultist situation. Who in blazes are you? Angels and ministers of grace defend us. Wait, that's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is, it, it's my body. That's Professor Tillingus, all right. She won't be telling me much anymore. We need to stop them. All right, so we are now ready to do a battle. So let's do it. Uh, I've got William York here. Hmm. The knife was pretty good. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another m movement. Uh, I'm gonna move myself to here, and I'm going to confirm that. I'm gonna do some some more attacking huh. using the knife to hopefully do all the damage I need to take this thing out. Yeah. Cultist down. So one of them. And Roland, I'm hoping, is ready to use his revolver and just blast this individual away. Should be pretty fun. So he's got his gun equipped. Uh, I'm going to make an attack. Just takes one rate to the chest. So once you're out of action points or want to end your turn with a specific investigator, you can select the end turn. So right now I can't do this and I can't punch him either. So I'm kind of in a weird spot. Um... So I'm probably just going to... I'll do the end for now. I'll just say I've lost my action points because I'm not close enough. He's going to move anyway. So Roland takes a good, a good hit. Uh, after all characters have gone... Um, or, sorry, after all of the characters have had their uh, turn to attack, the Mythos Clock fills up beyond your GERD. Okay, so that's going to obviously add more fun to the equation. Do I have to go around? Oh, that's interesting. I have to go all the way around. How many does that burn? It burns quite a bit, but I'll, I'll do it. 
so I can't be... Let's go there. Knife. You do have to make sure your positioning is fine in terms of, like... Um, you can't, you know, have your character move and be sitting on top of another character. Who you were have those to... cloaked figures? This wasn't just a burglary. You're right about that. It must be connected to my investigation. We better have a look around. All right. Yes, we had better. So Roland got hit pretty decently, but he doesn't look to be all that beat up. So he got a decent hit, but not not overly in trouble. Now, on the other hand, Professor's not doing so great. Uh, pat down. Should I pat down? Ugh, I don't know if I should do that or not. Should I just look? Let's pat down and see what happens. No, I knew that was a bad idea. Ugh. Losing some sand. I might need to do some smoking soon. <laughs> uh, a deep weeping wound on her abdomen appears to be the cause of the death. Judging by the wetness, it appears she was killed recently. You feel the stability of your mind shatter. Yep, that's not good. Okay. Such a brutal death. Even Shakespeare would hesitate to dispatch a kindly old scholar in such a manner. Despite my age, I had much more to do in life. This wound on her stomach? It looks like she was knifed. Yep, that's, uh, that's, yep, that's about the only option there. Um, no adv okay, so this is another one where I have to make a good choice. So the desk drawer is locked. You'll need to open it before searching inside. I got no advice between either of them. Uh, let's try to find its flaws. I hope that that's right. Inside the drawer, tucked various notebooks at a glance, you find nothing related to the murder, but it's clear that Professor was in the habit of recording even trivial events in her life. Okay, well, that's good. Might get some information. Look at these notebooks. It, it is, but how would you know? There's no useful information here. But perhaps Professor Tilling has kept notes on this material in another location. Hmm. The question is, which other location? Broken glass. Oh no, not again. Uh, I feel like this is a bad... Oh, it says we should be able to put some of the object back together. Okay, let's do that. We finally got some actual decent advice from our individuals. Reassemble most of the shattered container. You see a flask that probably came from a laboratory. You can make out the printed words. Oh, the Miskatonic University Science Lab. What's yep. this mess? Yeah, a broken jaw, a flask. You can make out a few letters. Miska, uni, lab... Miskatonic University Science Lab. That's simple enough. Yep, it is. For anybody that knows, it is very simple indeed. Okay, so I'm going to check. Is that a, letting me check out the grandfather clock? Yeah. Taking away the the terrible crime that poets sure us have stopped this function. Interesting. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here unless... What is this? What is that? Oh, the glyph. Oh no, the glyph. Oh, I shouldn't have even interacted with that. Large glyph has been painted on the floor, apparently in blood. You're certain Professor was deliberately killed above it. What you aren't certain of is why you feel the stability of your mind shatter. So that's the thing, like sometimes it might be better not to interact with things. That and drawn in blood. But. My nice clean floor ruined. That looks like some kind of cult symbol. This ain't a garden variety burglary. Nope. We found everything we're liable to find here. Time to see where the evidence leads us. And so my friend set out to discover how I was killed. Okay, so that kind of gives us a little bit of an idea on the premise of this thing.
All right, completed. You managed to stay sane. Uh, she was found dead in her home, but what appears to be, by what appears to be members of a cult, what happened? So I didn't get, I didn't have any secondary objectives at all. So there's that. And now our investigators are returning to the office. That of my office makes it clear you must visit Miskatonic University. Not only did I work there, but the broken jar came from the university lab. Why did those strange men need it? Whatever the answer, you're sure to find it at Miskatonic. Very cool. So we got kind of this thing pinned on the board. This is the next thing we need to check out. <clears throat> and it looks like we have a group selection now for tutorial. So you need to select a group that will continue the investigation to the next scenario. So build a group based on the challenge you expect to face in the field, which we have somewhat of a knowledge on knowing we're going to university or science lab. Um, review the investigator's strengths is needed in your notebook. Okay. So now we got a couple options here, but as of right now, we only have two, but I, I know that as we go along, we're going to gain more and more people. Uh, so do I just still, if I want to bring, if I say William York, uh, yeah, like at this point, there's only the two, so I don't really have too much of a choice. One thing I want to check though is what is, what is B? Oh, the biography. Okay. Interesting. So we got a legend here for sanity, health, mental resistance, investigation, initiative. Okay. Good to know. No, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. So let's let's go with this team. Office and equipment. At the end of a scenario, all the items you have collected on your investigation are stored here. Before heading out again, make sure that you have assigned weapons, accessories, and items to your investigators. Yeah, that would be definitely handy. So let's... Oh, do I not have any bullets left? Ooh, that's not good. Uh, let's bring the knife back over to William. It looks like you can't... Once you click the move, it looks like you can actually lift it and bring it over. You don't have to use the WASD keys like I had said before. Um, I'm going to bring all these over because I think having these on me is going to be good. And I want Roland to have his gun even though... Oh, look at that. He does have some bullets on him. Or at least it loads up once he picks it up. So he's got something. That's good. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's launch this thing. Let's see what it's going to throw us into this time. Welcome to Miskatonic University, home of the prestigious Orne Library, which includes the country's largest collection of occult books. I once studied here as a student, later donning the mantle of professor and passing along all I learned to the next generation of astronomy students. This place was like a second home to me. Perhaps the things I left behind will provide you with clues to the answers you seek. Science and astrophysics are all very well if what you want is a good job. I, of course, prefer the drama department. Oh, it has changed over the years. But no place feels more like home to me. Not even my little house. The secretary said Professor Norman Withers could give us access to Professor Tillinger's office. But what do we expect to find? We won't know until we look. All right. Let's brace this Withers character and find out what's what. Sounds like a plan. Exploration combat overlay. The overlay is available in both exploration and combat by pressing tab or clicking on the icon representing the three investigators on the bottom left screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, displayed by default are the statistics for your current group, Mythos Trauma. Okay, good to know. So if I do a tab, yeah, I can see every... This is kind of like what we looked at before, right? Mythos Clock is uh, uh, kind of filling up there, so a little bit a little bit weird. Scary as well, not knowing what's going to happen when that actually occurs. Should I go through this door? Let's do it. No, nope, I cannot. Okay. Can't go through there. A shelf full of trophies, all inscribed with the Miskatonic Astronomy Club. You wonder what sort of astronomy event results in a trophy? Good question. I'm going to go upstairs just yet. Let's talk to a number of these people. Map of the first floor. You are here. Okay, good to know. Can I interact with these people? Nope, I can interact here. 
Mm-hmm. Manila file folder. In, looking inside, you spot what might be something useful. Okay. Yep, I think that might be useful. We'll take that. Hmm. Just walking around sealing stuff. A note left on the bench. A student sits on catches your eye. It reads, I can't stop thinking about that queer old book with its strange writing. Even holding it in my hand seems to drain my strength as if it were some sort of vampire sucking away my energy. Uh, the professor caught me with it. She confiscated it at once. I haven't seen it since. Hmm. Here's Tillinghast's office There's on the left. There's Norman Withers. Withers to the right. They must have known each other pretty well. Professor Tillinghast's door is locked. Classic. But of course, my friend, academics and no- some have even been known to steal a colleague's research and present it as their own. We'd better ask Withers for the key. Yep, because we're not getting in that door. All right, so let's go over here. We're going to meet Norman Withers. I see no, Agatha. You will pardon me for saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit scientific. I refuse to believe that Wilhelmina would have... Oh, they're talking about me. Norman and I were colleagues for years. So naturally, we addressed each other by our Christian names. You, of course, may call me Professor Tillingust. Yes, what is it? How can I help you? Pardon the intrusion, Professor Withers. We're investigating Professor Tillingus' death, and we... Not again. Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Oh, these constant intrusions by reporters and police and garden variety busybodies. As I told your friends earlier, I do not wish to be disturbed. Listen, pal. Wait just a moment, Norman. Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. Oh, forgive my manners. I'm Professor Agatha Crane. And you seem to know of my colleague, Professor Norman Withers. Something tells me you've seen Wilhelmina, haven't you? Uh, that is, Professor Tillinghast. Agatha, for heaven's sake, stop this nonsense. No, Professor Withers, she's right. We have seen unusual things. We arrived too late to save Professor Tillinghast. But we've seen evidence that whatever happened to her was unnatural, to say the least. I told you, Norman, that box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. I, for one, want to see it for myself. You there, come with me. What? Where are you going, you, you, you confounded parapsychologist? To the observatory. Wait here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed further. All right, so Agatha Crane is the new investigator joining us here. Very good. She increases the group member's initiative in combat. That is a plus. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of his stuff. I don't know if he's going to like this. Oh, there's bullets in here. Please tell me I can take those. Can I? Did I? I think I did. Yes, I did. Up to nine bullets. Sweet. That's awesome. That'll come in handy. Uh, Let's see. He stands before you, puffing his cheeks impatiently. I know you wish to search the observatory, but for the life of me, I can't imagine what you expect to find there. He doesn't seem to believe anything of what's going on, so we're going to have to just kind of force that. Small telescope pointed out the window, peering through it. You must look away from the bright light of the sun. No doubt the view is better at night. Yes, probably see better things at night for sure. All right, let's get out of the way here. Get out of the way. I got things to do. So let's head this way back into here. I'm going to check out this bookshelf really quick. Don't need that. There's nothing to check out over here. Let's head upstairs because I think that's the... Or actually, I guess we could try this door first. Beside the door is... Right, so still locked. That's... Okay, so I can't get in there just yet then. Let's try heading up here. Ah, the old observatory. Don't be fooled by its antiquated fixtures, my friends. Of course, the new Gerald Warren Astronomical Observatory is a technological marvel. But I shall always remember this one more fondly. 
through these telescopes, I first gazed with wonder at the stars and the vast voids between them. It looks like we have a lot to explore in here. That's good. So we found a desk. It says so much clutter fills this desk that it might take a while to find a needle in this proverbial haystack. You decide to open up the small drawer and we found a, a book of restraint. Could it be? Yes, these glyphs indicate gestures of power, of magic. This, my friends, is a grimoire, a book of spells. What it is doing at the university, I cannot say. But we mustn't let this opportunity go to waste. We must see whether these spells work. Oh, geez, this is going to... First off, why is that book here? Uh, that's one to catalog. What does that mean? Um, yeah, so let's... Can I pick it up, though? Because I want to pick it up. Oh, there we go. Move. We'll give it to Agatha. Probably a bad idea. <laughs> um, let's take a look over here. A pipe wrench. Man, we're getting a lot of great stuff here. Give that to William. Door. I don't need to go through that just yet. Uh, what is this? No advice. Uh, we can break the door, lock, pick it, or force the lock. I'm going to break the door. No, that was forced to lock. Oh my gosh, I messed up twice. When the Mythos clock is full, Mythos event is triggered, resulting in a penalty for the group. Also, your group will need to resist the Great Old One's influence or lose a sanity point. Oh, jeez. You feel? No, you hear. No, no, no. What is this? This is wrong. Your head is about to explode. All investigators must check their sanity. All right, and then we're going to go to lock picking. Okay, so we found a box. That's good. This is probably going to have the key in it, maybe? Let's get into our office. The, mysterious box. the label marks it as belonging to Professor Tillingist. What are these strange things inside? This symbol. It was in Professor Tillingist's room. You've seen this symbol in Wilhelmina's room, haven't you? It is similar to the iconography of ancient pagan rituals. Here That's is not proof good. that Wilhelmina's research went beyond known science and into the realm of the paranormal. Many of our colleagues questioned Agatha's unorthodox avenues of research, but none questioned her resolve. Once she sets her mind to a goal, nothing can stop her. We hmm. must show this to Norman. Only then will he help us. That's probably true. Norman's not going to really care much unless he sees something tangible that's look real uh let's see should I, oh yeah i guess i didn't check out the telescope yeah hasn't seen much use but i got a funny feeling it will let's go through this door here or that was probably where we came from okay let's head over to william and hopefully then william will let us get into that room let's see there you are look here norman See the odd things in this box of Wilhelmina's? Whatever she was researching, it was far more than that comet. I don't see what this has to do with her death. We saw a sign identical to the one on this box in the room where Professor Tillingus was killed. I must admit that seems far too unlikely to be mere coincidence. Very well. You have my attention and my help. Well, I mean, I left Arkham earlier this year, and I received this box. After hearing no word from her, I became concerned, and I, I confess, I briefly searched her office for some mm, indication. Classic snooping. Oh, Norman, you dear fool. I was only gone a week. Why did you worry so? Unfortunately, I couldn't make sense of her notes. They made no sense to me. I did sense a whiff of the occult about them, which I admit made me uneasy. Working as an ensemble, we're much more likely to succeed. What do you say we join forces? You're right, of course. Yeah, take the key to Wilhelmina's office. While you have a look in there, I'll pour over these notes again. What was that sound? It came from next door. Oh, good. My office? Who's in there? We're going to find out. Right away. Who 
Who is in here? Somebody was rooting around. What was that commotion? There's nobody here. Someone beat us to it. The room's been searched, and recently. Just look at this mess. Someone has ransacked my office. Look there. Even the safe is broken open. Now they're on the lam. We gotta nab them before they get off campus. Whoever it is must be dangerous. You must protect the students. All right, let's see what we got here. The safe, yep, it's been forced open. There's nothing in there for us to grab. Desk, oh, we got some sanity back. That's awesome. Good, we're at full sanity again. And nothing there. So those are the five me. Oh, I guess there's this picture as well. House by the railroad, stark vertical horizontal lines. Yeah, that's true, it is unsettling. Okay, I don't think there's anything else unless this telescope or the window allows us to interact. That looks like it's fairly high up too. Like whatever came up here would have had to, you know, take a decent jump out the window, which is kind of creepy. All right, let's head back into the hallway where all the screaming was, because I'm sure. Oh, okay, here clothes. we go. These are the same people who were in the professor's house. They're the ones who looted her office. Stop them. Who are these interlopers? Deal with them while the others escape. Classic cultists, always causing problems. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and after I've lost my sanity here, I'm going to go ahead and have, uh, it looks like William's up first. So he's just going to make a beeline to this enemy here. And I'm going to attack the heck out of this thing. I'm going to use a wrench. Does a wrench do more damage? It does. I'm going to use a wrench. This would be great. Uh, let's attack this enemy with a wrench. Good hit. Do I have another hit in me? Nope. Okay, so let's use... Um, I don't know if I can actually hit my own characters, but for now I'm just going to position myself a little bit better. Make a attack. And I'm going to target this enemy here. Still didn't kill it. Okay, if that's the case, then I'm going to go... I'll have Agatha. Actually, she's got magic. I think she can shoot from a distance, right? Overwatch, refocus. I don't know what refocus means. Does that mean get back two action points? That might. Caffeine, bandages. Oh, there's her stuff. Yeah, so... Let's use this. Can I actually use this on, on him? From a distance? Yep. Did enough to kill him? Oh, he's restrained now. During the course of the game, your investigators will see their status affected by various conditions, some positive, some negative. Whenever an investigator is affected, you will receive immediate feedback indicating this condition. This feedback will fade, but the portrait will display a buffed or debuffed icon. Okay, so I have restrained that individual. I'm going to restrain this individual too. Unless I don't have an... Oh, I don't have enough. I need... Th oh, yeah. I'm gonna Maybe I'll just move so that I'm... I'm further away from the action and that's where I'm going to stop right there okay that's unfortunate I was thinking I'd be able to knock at least one of them but that did not work out <clears throat> and here they come poor William getting a couple good hits so William you are going to use your your uh, pipe wrench and it's definitely going to be on this enemy here to wipe it out <laughs> Eat damage, that's a good hit. And scene. And then, uh, do I have enough for this next hit? Oh, it's a three, so I'll use a knife, I guess, on this cultist here. Seven damage, not bad. Okay, Roland, you are gonna do a sh I'm gonna see if I can shoot straight through no matter whether someone's in the way or not, hopefully. Yep, can do. Um. I'm going to bring him closer because I don't want William to be the only target of attacks. So I'm going to bring him like here. And that'll be the end of his turn. And Agatha might be able to restrain this individual, hopefully. There we go. So that should be enough. 
And I'm going to move her. I'll move her so she's closer. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, because I don't know if restraint completely stops the individual from attacking or not, but we'll find out. Nope, it does not. Okay, good to know. I would have assumed it might have actually held off on that, but it did not. Uh, now I'm going to use the pipe wrench, and we're going to finish this guy off, hopefully. There we go. And William York is doing... Yeah, he's pretty beat up. He's pretty beat up. Let's go that in here. That scream is coming here? from down the corridor. Oh no, the students! Must be one of those weird burglars. Let's... Got a funny feeling it's maybe not a burglar. And I think this is where we're going to end it off right here for part number one. Really hope you're enjoying this playthrough of Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace. You can see we're getting a lot more options to explore across. We also have uh, a little bit more understanding around the combat and how it works. It's obviously turn-based. You have to like that if you're going to be into this game. Um, if you're into Arkham Horror and you're into the characters created around uh, you know, Fantasy Flight games, uh, this is definitely going to be of interest to you. Um, but outside of that, it's a better question as to whether or not you'll be pulled in as much uh, but because most of us that play board games have a connection to these characters it's intriguing to go through the storyline in this one so if you'll join me in part number two we'll continue our adventure together thank you guys so much for watching and as always keep on rolling solo